I'm going to show you how to make a paper model of interfering light waves. Let me show you the materials you'll need. 20 three by five cards, 15 five by seven cards, a pen or a pencil, a red and a blue marker pen, transparent tape, a pair of scissors, and masking tape. You'll need to make 12 of these cards, each of which represents one wavelength of red light. We'll start by folding a card in half lengthwise, and then I'll sandwich the template in, and this gives me a line right down the middle of the card. Fold this card in half, and in half again, and unfold it. Now I'll mark the places for my sine wave. Zero at the one side, zero in the middle, zero on the other side. A maximum, about a centimeter down from the top. A minimum, about a centimeter up from the bottom. And then I draw my best sine wave on this paper, passing through those points. Now I cut it out to make my template, and I end up with two for the red wavelength. Give one to a friend. I can now use that template to draw a very nice red wave, and then repeat that 12 times. Once you've made your 12 wavelengths, you're going to tape them together in two rows of six. Place them so that they flow smoothly from one card to the next, and make sure they abut without overlapping and then put the tape between them and flip them over and do the tape on the other side. Once you've done this, you're going to continue until you make an entire row of six wavelengths of red light, and then continue with the three by five cards to make two rows of eight blue wavelengths. The really interesting thing to notice is that the wavelength of red light is about 700 nanometers. And the wavelength of blue light is about 500 nanometers. So having a 7 inch wide red wave and a 5 inch wide blue wave is a perfect model for the relative wavelengths of these two colors of light.